This little beastie is a three and a half inch gauge loco uh, designed to look like um, an Aveling and Porter tram engine. Um, the original Aveling and Porter was designed to be a very simple machine um, and based on their standard uh, traction engines. Uh, in a similar vein, this one is also based on uh, a traction engine. It's based on the Mammoth traction engine. Um, the boiler, firebox, uh, smoke box, and one or two other pieces. The the engine itself, the whistle, you know, the usual mechanical parts are uh, all from a, a Mammoth traction engine. Um, the wheels are actually from a Hornby rocket engine. Um, the frames I cut myself from sheet steel. On this side here you can see uh, the extra belting I added to give the, uh, the engine a little more torque and to give the, the whole thing a bit of uh, you know, uh, closer to scale speed. So it's actually uh, belted down in two stages. There's the standard Mamad flywheel with a slot built in. This is driving a larger fl uh, pulley which actually came from uh, a Mamad wagon uh, and attached to this on the other side which you can't see is another is a smaller pulley, pulley which is belted to uh, a Meccano 3 inch I think it's 3 inch uh, pulley mounted fi fixed to the wheel there. I modified the burner so that it's a similar, similar principle to the original Mamod burners in that it's attached to the uh, the scuttle except that this is only half of a scuttle the other half is mounted on the top there to look a bit more realistic it runs quite well now. It, uh, when I first built it, it didn't run very well at all. Um, it was priming like mad all the time. But for some reason, it's improved over time. Every time I run it, it gets a bit better. So it could be just running in. Um, it runs quite well now. So uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. I'm quite pleased with the performance. So. Just to show a few more things in close up, the cylinder is not the original cylinder from the traction engine, but it's a it is a Mamad what they call a power cylinder. It's just a slightly updated version of their standard cylinder and piston. Uh, it's uh, got a standard re reversing arrangement there. The buffer is built up from uh, wood and steel. The buffers themselves are uh, mirror fixings. Uh, the hood, the uh, hook, was just something that I found in my junk box somewhere. I found a, a pair of those. A um, little bit of chain also from my junk box. Um, I had a little bit of trouble. I don't know if you can see it from here. Uh, in between the wheel and the firebox there's very little space at all and I had 
problems mounting the uh, the Meccano pulley in there without it scraping on the firebox. Um, it's actually worse than it looks because the firebox, firebox tapers out slightly towards the bottom. So I had to actually shave a bit off the metalwork of the firebox. The uh, the wheel hub, the original Hornby wheel had uh, a much larger shaft than, uh, than the one I'm using here. Um, so I I fixed a Meccano sprocket actually um, onto the outside of the wheel there which fitted a Meccano shaft. The, uh, the front wheel as it happened was already a standard Meccano size. Not really surprising seeing as Hornby originally made the Meccano parts. Here's the unusual front aspect come down to the level. The, uh, the buffer beam comes actually halfway up, well almost halfway up the, uh, the boiler there. Uh, and that is accurate, the original Avalon and Porter did the same. In order to show the uh, Avalon and Porter look-alike running on track, I've set up a very temporary track starting off here in the kitchen, going off into the living room, branching into one branch going off towards the back door there, and the other one going off here another part of the living room. Unfortunately I don't have room for a full circle so I'll have to make do with this. I'm about to steam up the Aveling and Porter look-alike. Uh, as usual First thing to think about with any steam engine is water. We're lucky here that we have water level sight glass in the back end of the firebox. This burner here's a little awkward to get at, but uh, here we are. Let's see ya. This incidentally started off with the usual purple colour as supplied by law in the UK, but for some reason it faded in time, in just a very short time, and the colour disappeared. But it still works, so I'm not complaining. So, 
lifted up the upper tube bar with this. Pull the excess back into the bottle. Are up. Yes, it is still a light. Sometimes, as I push it in the uh, fire box, there it actually extinguishes the flame, but it didn't in this case. So, next thing. Some oil, some steam oil into the cylinder, nice thick gooey stuff. some thinner stuff for the other moving parts. Put on the port face. It's just a matter of waiting. Okay, the safety valve seems to be hissing. It doesn't take long to uh, get up to pressure this. Right yes, we have steam. So transfer it over onto the track. Okay. Let's uh, see how well she goes. And she's off. Down the other branch now. Oh, perhaps not. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> 